In this task, I'll review how to learn about the coordinate systems of our GIS data. Currently, I have QGIS browser open, and I've navigated to the Lab 1 exercise data folder. So say I'm interested in ST48, this shapefile. I can click on it. QGIS browser switches to the metadata tab. And I can see down here that this is in a geographic coordinate system. I can see that because the projection is long lat which would be the geographic coordinate system, and the datum is WGS84. Now if I explore this Texas DEM ERDAS Imagine file, again I'll find my coordinate system information down at the bottom. This one is a much more complicated definition for the coordinate reference system. It reads projection equals LCC, and LCC stands for Lambert Conformal Conic. The rest of this definition includes the first and second standard parallels, the central meridian, and false eastings and northings. So lat underscore one would be the first standard parallel. Lat underscore two would be the second standard parallel. Lat underscore zero would be the central meridian. And then I can see that I've got a false easting and a false northing of one million. And it's using the ellipsoid of GRS80. Now I'll bring up QGIS desktop. And I'll switch to the browser navigate to the lab data and I'll drag this BTS airports layer onto the map canvas and switch back to my layers view. To determine what the coordinate system is of a layer within QGIS desktop I simply right click on it in the table of contents choose properties go to the general tab and I'll see the definition right here EPSG code 4269, which is a geographic coordinate system with a datum of NAT83. Cancel to close that. If I want this to be in a different coordinate system, I can right click on the data layer in the table of contents and choose Save As from the context menu. I'll browse to my file system and choose where I want to save the output, which will be a new shape file. And I'll call this BTS Airports UTM. Dot shape. Here I'm including the spatial reference in the naming convention of my output layer. Now to choose the output coordinate system, I'll click the Browse button. And I want this to be in UTM Zone 14. So I can simply type Zone 14 into the filter and search for the results down below that contain Zone 14. Here I have the Universal Transverse Mercator grouping. And I have Zone 14, NAT83 right there, EPSG code 26914. That's what I want. Click OK. And I'll choose to add the save file to the map and click OK. I get the message that it's done, and I see the new layer added to the table of contents. I can right click on this, go to Properties and see that it is in the new UTM coordinate system. So I have a new copy of my data in UTM. In the next task, we'll review GIS attribute tables.